to Friday. I'm excited. We have plans this weekend. Finally, plans. You guys know we've been having trouble with plans because nothing's open. So Sam and I are just getting ready to run to the store and get our Friday groceries done early. I also have to pick up some medicine for Penny. So anyways, I'm leaving. The girls, it's like 11 a.m. and the girls are not done school yet. I just gave them this writing assignment. They're both going to write a one-page essay about the day I fell in the hole. What do you think about it, Sophie? I'm all right. Um, I'm gonna skip two lines every thing. every other line. Actually, I can handle every other line. Every other line, Gabby. You ready for it, Gabby? Yes. You fell I, in a hole. I've actually kind of when I was trying to catch Stella, and then um I fell because my boot got sucked into the ground. I think we've all fallen in holes before, all of us. Physical holes, and then also other holes, holes where we've dug our own holes. You guys know what I'm talking about. Times that you've been mean instead of kind when you plan to be kind, but you just got pushed and you got mean instead. Does this count? No, a regular page, but no, good try. A regular page. Good try, Sophie. It's in my book, it's a good regular try. Page. The days we've done uncharacteristic things because We've fallen in the hole. We've all fallen in the hole. And I'm here to tell you guys that you can always climb back out. I've fallen in more holes than most, I feel like. I am a hole falling girl. It's true. Like, you got to do what you can do, you guys. You got to live the way you can live. And then you have to remember that we all make mistakes and that we all have fallen in the hole and we've all climbed our way back out. So if you've made a mistake recently, or you feel bad about something recently, then you just need to go out there and dig yourself to the top. Tell yourself all the things about how it was uncharacteristic and that you forgive yourself and get yourself back up there. That's not what I thought you meant. <laughs> Sophie's like, what? That's not the kind of hole I'm falling in. Wait, do I have to write it about that? No, nope, you can write it whatever kind of hole you want to fall in. Yeah, I was walking along the road and on the wild path and I stepped in a hole and I fell. Yeah, you can write about that. And then talk about what happens while you're locked in the hole. You don't, there's no door. You can't lock yourself in a hole. While well, you're stuck in the hole. Small I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put really, 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 Okay, do not do a lot of reallys to make your words go by. I can see it now. She's gonna be one of those people who write the same word 10 times so that it, it fills up her pages. Anyway, we're headed out. I got my Tasty breakfast with me. I am in love with these cherry tomatoes. Whenever I eat breakfast early in the morning, I always wait till almost lunchtime to eat breakfast. I had leftover fish that Sophie cooked for us the other day and it was so good. It was amazing. And now I'm having some cherry tomatoes. Do you want some cherry tomatoes? Yeah, Sam and I are the only ones that like them, but oh man, they are so good. So uh, we are in the truck today. Sam's getting the oil changed and I'm gonna run into Walmart and get a few things that we need for the day. But this entire week has been a rainy, dark, dreary day. You guys see there's no sun? Like, really, it plays on you. I asked Gabby today, do you wanna ride today? And she said, not really. And I'm like shocked because she never misses riding, ever. And I feel like these dark days are just really pulling us down. I'm really curious to know if that's actually a phenomenon or if it's just us. Do you feel affected when you don't see the sun or you don't have any light for days on days on end? So if anybody's wondering, this is the kind of shampoo that Gabby uses. It's called uh, straightening shampoo. And I also bought this uh, frizz eraser serum in the same brand for Sophie to try. I also need a new brush. I always use this kind and it always breaks right here because my hair is kind of thick. And then I always lose it when it's small. When it's only this big, it always gets lost. So comment below what is your favorite kind of brush? What kind of brush do you use? I'm thinking maybe this kind because it doesn't have the little thing there where you have to attach it. But it seems super flimsy compared to this. All right, this is it. This is our grocery shopping for the week. Hi. All right, I was driving last. Right, we're going down to the barn. You guys are in the barn. We have to get blankets. <laughs> Molly and Ruby's here. So I told you guys in yesterday's video that Stormy Boy has problems with his feet. And if we don't handle it exactly the right way, then it causes him to get back sore. And so uh, we had the farrier come out early and do the shoes two weeks early and uh, fix Storm. Fixed his feet and he did. He did something similar that our old farrier did. 
His back is a little bit tight still, so to fix that, we got a massage girl coming to give him a massage. Yeah, like, horses are so much more work than people. Like, if you get a backache, if your back gets tight, you just take a Tylenol and go to bed. Wake up better. But with horses, it's so much more complicated. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. Hopefully, I can introduce you guys to her and put her on the vlog and you guys can see what she's doing. I don't know if she'll be up for that, but I'm going to ask her. We're still waiting for the girls. All right. So we made it to the barn with 20 minutes to spare, but that is only 20 minutes to catch her horse and groom him up. Also, we're here to put blankets on because the weather's supposed to get nasty and we're supposed to have and snow. And Storm needs a buddy and I want to torture my horse in the cross ties. So, <laughs> what does that mean? So, um, he gets to stay in the cross ties. I can't believe how it worked out though. Like, early today, the girls were like, I don't want to ride today. And it was cold and dreary and dark and rainy. And I was like, yeah, okay, I get that. And then all of a sudden, I'm back saying, yeah, I can come today if that's, that'll work for you. And I was like, wow, I can't believe that. Like, just worked out perfectly. <sighs> Beans and girls. Yeah, we wore shoes. Girls are feeling low back there. Holy heck, Finn is coming. Here, Storm, look. Finn is coming. Here, handsome. We got a good day for you. Yeah, so it's been working, you guys. He's been coming to the treats. There you go. And you're caught. Let's see if I can catch Finn. Sophie's over here telling Finn this big story. Just wait, this helps. So they are working, they are coming to treats. Oh, wait, we got a banana. Do you want to try it? Treats or banana? He's like, whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> He's he like, it. I'll take the treats. He dropped it. It's getting cold. Here, hold it. He doesn't like it. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> bringing bananas because they're healthy for you. All right, we'll be back for you. It's still, we're coming back to put a blanket on you so you're warm because it's going to rain, okay? Just a, a brain sheet. We'll be back. Okay, handsome? So it's been working, you guys. It's been working with me giving them treats. They've been, they've been coming. They've been, I mean, we've given them treats before, but I think it was just too sporadic. Now they're getting it. Now they're connecting. All right. Yeah, I'll grab Finn's blankets. I'll grab the blankets. Finn was spooking. He was spooking? Well, he was just staring at his stuff and not letting him go. Is that the start. first time he's ever come that way? No. So you gotta groom him up, brush him. I'm gonna shed my boy because he looks weird. So this guy's not lame or anything. Oh, he seems better actually. You seem better. Seems better already. I'll show you the shoes. These are the fancy new shoes. You can't really see anything. Shoes are shoes. Shoes. These are special shoes. They have like hey, special stuff in them. I have special shoes on too. Yeah. They're made just for mud. Yeah, and I wear shoes and yeah, not I wear special. Shoes too. Yeah, my and shoes are not as dirty. It was a disaster. They have to groom, and I have to freaking rocks in my shoe. Fill in. I have to fill in a paper before she gets here. Uh, we brought Finn. <laughs> Finn's over there. <laughs> God, she's cute. Wait till you see. Watch out there, Gabby. Finn, he's just standing there. He's like, why am I in the back? I'm always in the front. What the heck is happening here? But he just looks so cute. <laughs> he's adorable. So we just brought Finn in so that he's good for the massage therapist. And um, we're going to groom him and put on his blanket anyway. So, because it's supposed to get cold. Poor Gabby, she's always the lunger, always the runner, always the everything. Awesome. He looks better right, to me even today. Uh, it's getting really cold now, I can really feel it. Um, I got the horse's blankets, I'm gonna take them out and we're gonna get them ready for tonight. It's supposed to snow. She's still working on them and he was really tight in his back. So I'm glad we called her, I'm glad we had her come out. 
Just missing one blanket here. Oh, we're using two new different blankets. We've never used these ones before. We're on our last set of rain sheets. So Stormy has this blanket on. It's an Amigo. I think that's a I think that's a nice name, Rand. It's just a, a rain sheet. So now we're gonna see if he breaks through with this one. I don't even know. I bought it secondhand somewhere. We are done. The horses are back out. I asked her if she wanted to be in the video because I thought it would be so good for you guys to like hear and understand what she's saying. Oh, but man. she said no. She's starving. Like you're starving? She said no because she was in one of our videos before and she's English and she has an accent but she thinks that she sounds Canadian. <laughs> but she sounds very English and she said that when she was in our last video and she watched it, she could hear herself talking and she was like, oh, I don't sound like that. So it must be like such a weird situation being in a video. So anyway, I, she probably would have if I asked her, like really asked her and said like, you know, our viewers would probably really be interested in this, but I didn't push her because I know how hard it is to be in videos. <laughs> was so good, we just did yeah, we brought Finny in. And he just stood there and waited for his brother. Like it was, he was such a good boy. We put all the blankets on. Gabby, while I was cleaning up, she went out and put Chino's blanket on. Amazing. Gabby's like, you didn't even notice I was missing. I didn't notice she was missing. So like I said, Storm was not lame or anything like that. Um, he just was tight in his back and she, and he just wasn't releasing the, the pressure. Like we don't know what happened. It could be because he ripped his blanket off like Superman. <laughs> how he gets out of them or it could have been his feet giving him problems so we fixed that so who knows all we know is that he had tight muscles and now his muscles are good she, she taped his back something we've never experienced before but anyway hopefully he's good now and we'll we're gonna leave him for a few days and then we're gonna try him again early next week see how his feet are going see how his back is doing that's it now we're gonna go home and put our girls blankets on because it's supposed to snow all right, so we just finished supper. I had fish and vegetables, and I'm gonna make a drink. So this is what I do. This is one of my favorite drinks. I haven't ever had it in years. So it's organic coconut milk. This is what I love about coconut milk. It separates, so it's like cream. It's yummy. If you add a little bit of sugar to this, this coconut milk, this stuff right here, it actually tastes like ice cream. But you wouldn't add sugar. You would add like honey or something. It tastes good. So I pour the coconut. Oops! I pour the coconut milk in there, and then I add a bunch of pineapple. Normally I use. I don't use crushed pineapple. I don't know how I ended up buying crushed pineapple. Then I add a little bit of honey. Then I put it in a cup. Put a straw. And it's a super yummy, nice, sweet treat, but it's not super sweet, which is what I love about it. You just put a little tiny bit of honey, and it's super yummy. I love the taste of coconut, and I love the taste of pineapple. My favorite, you guys. If you're like me, you add more honey. Enjoy. Can you even suck it up? I used to drink this all the time when we were gluten free. It was one of my favorite snacks. Don't you know that you're beautiful?